King Will. <laughs> King Will! This is my town! <laughs> and I like it when Foundry comes, because everybody's having a good time and, and sending it and testing some of and doing whatever it else it is that you guys pretend to do when you come here. <laughs> oh, we're doing a story on freaking Corbett's Square. Can we have free tickets? and we're testing skis. Oh, yeah, we got to take some laps on the tram. Can we get in the back door so we can test them faster? And all those bullshit excuses you come and just like take over my mountain. And I'm like, really? Seriously? But it's a good program. I appreciate you know the heart, the heart and soul of skiing coming here and, and throwing it down and using every device that they have at their, their in their arsenal to go and ski powder as much as possible because that's what's all about. Being a snowboarder, you know, being a, I'm from Jackson, grew up here, and these powder yahoos come in here every year and throw big parties and everybody's testing skis. And um, it's pretty cool, actually. Like, there's a bunch of cool folks cruising around. Matt Sturbins comes in. Derek Taylor, who I owe basically my life to because he turned me on to this band called Hinder. <laughs> if you know Hinder. And it just kind of like, it, every time I listen to Hinder, it lifts my soul, kind of like Jackson Hole does. And it's just, those days I can't ride Jackson, I listen to Hinder. And it's all because of Derek Taylor and Powder Magazine. So, thanks, buddies. Um, but, you know. We're hanging out, a bunch of ski yahoos wearing those tall T things and all that stuff come into town, think they're badass, gonna jump into Corbett's and um, they're just, you know, they're good people and I like showing them around and, and having some fresh blood in town and making them, uh, you know, taking them places they haven't seen before. Rob, in your, in your opinion, is there any even, even any reason to test skis? Well, you should I mean, just like put them together and slide on them sideways, right? That's, well, ultimately, I just like I have a little snowboard company called Compatriot, and the way that ski, like the waists on those things, keep getting bigger and bigger, I figured I could just slide all my next year's boards in the rack there and just try to pawn them off as actual skis, possibly, and just suggest that people ride them sideways as a, a novel new ski idea. You ride these things sideways. I think you might have talked about something like ski boarding sideways in 1977 in Powder Magazine. <laughs> but you know, we've moved past that. 